Please pass down and check out our wonderful board view at this morning on this beautiful Friday and uh, getting towards uh, tomorrow. We're going to be expecting the same kind of weather too. Fine weather, plenty of sunshine because we do need that kind of weather because tomorrow Vanuatu will challenge the, uh, the big ones from Niue and uh, looking forward for the match. But more information on that coming up after this uh, commercial and a song, not commercial, but this uh, weather break. So at uh, top of today is 28 degrees Celsius, minimum for tonight reaching 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, Luganville, Santo, uh, warmer than uh, in Port Vila, it's 29, and it feels like uh, 31 degrees Celsius with a minimum of 20 degrees Celsius. Lena Caltana, cooler day, 27 degrees Celsius, and a very uh, cooler night of 16 degrees Celsius. And that's the weather for you, so stay tuned. We're coming up with uh, more talk talk about tomorrow's sun. Um, match between Vanuatu Rugby League and new team coming over to Vanuatu Blue Mink. Stay with me. Stay with me on Isis Bursa Fund. That's a Blue Mink at six minutes past ten and the moment that we are all waiting for. Yeah. I'm so nervous, you know, because I'm surrounded by these uh, Five handsome guys. <laughs> I'm the only one in the studio. Well, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, we all have uh, all these um, we know that Vanuatu is uh, uh, on the map of Vanuatu Rugby League, all right, around the region. Uh, we know that the first international game was staged in Port Vila last year with the Greece um, team. And uh, some weeks ago, or some days ago, Vanuatu did well on this, uh, making the commemorating the 150th anniversary of Black Birding by beating the, beating the Solomon team. And now the Vanuatu rugby players are here again and ready to kick off with tomorrow's match. And we do have uh, David Simpson as a head coach of Vanuatu Rugby League. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, and yourself? Yeah, well, thank you. Good, good, good. And we also have the uh, the captain, the player, and the captain of Vanuatu Rugby League, which is Samuel Lua Luan Bravo. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, good. And yourself? Good, thank you. Good. So we also have Matt Francis. He's the um, from the Cold Coast Titans is joining Nancy's Bar 7. Good morning to you. Morning to you as well. And welcome to Vanuatu. Thank you very much. Mm. And not forgetting the, the president of Vanuatu Rugby League, which is um, Cameron McLeod. Good morning to you, and thank you for bringing all these uh, gentlemen to the, the studio, Cameron. Yeah, morning, Kizzy. Just to uh, clarify that, I'm, not, I'm definitely not the president of the VRL. I'm just from the Carver Emporium and as gold level sponsors. But all right. I'm pretty pumped about being here, Kizzy. Yeah. yeah, very popular, and thank you for the, uh, that information. So uh, we are ready. I'm, I'm heading to you, David Simpson, as the head coach of Vanuatu. We are ready for tomorrow's. Uh, Again. Oh, we definitely are. We've um, prepared well all week. Uh, we've got uh, <clears throat> one uh, final training session to go this afternoon just to uh, make sure that we fine tune um, what the guys have learnt this week and uh, in order to make, uh, make sure our preparation is spot on for tomorrow afternoon's contest. So, you yeah, know, the, the boys are here definitely to play and um, we're looking for a strong performance tomorrow against Nui. Mm. So, you've been with this team for some time now. Yeah, um, I've uh, officially yes, um, but in a, a practical capacity, I joined the team last week on Wednesday in um, uh, Mackay. Um, previously, leading a week into before the contest against Vanuatu, um, we had a week-long camp there. Uh, we dropped into Santo on uh, Tuesday, and then um, spent the night in Santo raising money for the Boers to come over here and play the curtain raiser prior to our game. And uh, we've officially been in camp in Port Vila since uh, Wednesday. Mm. So uh, since you take over as a coach of Vanuatu Rugby League, uh, what did you discover from these uh, young players from Vanuatu? Um, look, oh, they have tremendous... This is a new game in Vanuatu. Oh, most def yeah, most definitely. We realise um, uh, soccer or football you know, is currently the number one sport. Uh, the young men that I've seen witness so far have uh, great athletic ability. Um, Tremendous agility, uh, great footwork, um, terrific hand and eye skills. And uh, so I suppose now it's up to us to, um, in developing the game here, just to improve their rugby league awareness um, and how they interpret the game more importantly. And in doing that, to raise the profile of rugby league in uh, the Vanuatu, Vanuatu community. I'm sure there's, um, there's enough space for two prominent sports, not just the one. 
and uh, that's what we're here to do. But and they're tremendous young men. Uh, they're well mannered, um, very outgoing, and uh, um, very courageous. From what I've seen for, uh, so far, they've got a tremendous amount of heart. And with that, um, as a coach. Uh, I've got a lot to work with, so I, I'm very happy to be here. Mm. And we know that Vanuatu recently won the um, uh, regional game between the Solomon Islands uh, on the 5th of October, which is also the Constitution Day of Vanuatu, and the, the team really uh, marked the day too by winning Solomon Games in uh, Mackay. Oh, correct. Um, at one stage, that easy. we were down 20 to 6 uh, just before the half-time break. And uh, uh, it looked like Solomon Islands were going to overpower us and run away with the game. But to the boys' credit, um, they all stood up and uh, realised what the occasion was about after half time. And uh, we came back and won the contest 46 to 30. So there's a lot of resilience there within the group. And um, along with that athletic ability, and they're always improving um, as rugby league players, they thrive for information. And again, that, may, that makes my job a whole lot easier. And, um, we're looking at big things. We have aspirations, um, and they'll start um, again with this game, this contest tomorrow. And then there's uh, two th 2015, we begin um, the dream comes alive with uh, qualification for the 2017 World Cup. And we're very serious about this. We're not just coming along to make the numbers up. So um, as time goes on, we realise our squad will get stronger, and uh, we'll definitely be um, put ourselves in for a showing with qualifications for the 2017 Rugby League World Cup. Wow. And uh, what about this? Uh, we know that Vanuatu uh, lack facilities, all right? But how do you get on, along with your, your boys to train them and then bring them into standard of rugby uh, league? Um, oh, look, coming from a coach's point of view, uh, we look at that as a variable we can't control at the moment. We're doing everything we can away from the field to um, you know, bring awareness especially um, to the, uh, how would you say, the political community about raising the standards of the facilities. But at the moment, um, we don't have a control about, over that, so we don't worry about that. Um, if we had to train on a paddock that was made of sand and had um, a set of goalposts at each end, that's what we'd do. So, um, you know, that really doesn't come into our picture at the moment. But we realise, too, the country, you know, we, we need the country to get behind us so we can improve those facilities. And um, with improve facilities, um, then you improve the standard of the game and uh, that's what it's all about. So there's a, a lot of work to be done and we're well aware of that and if we all um, somehow believe in it and get on the same page, I'm sure we can reach those goals by 2017. Mm. So what do you see of Vanuatu rugby league in that 10 years time? Um, oh. like we, did, we did the first uh, game, the international game between uh, Greece. Do you think that the Vanuatu one day uh, can go beyond the regional uh, capacity and going to tackle all these uh, big international games? Uh, yeah, teams? yeah. Look, that's a big ask, but um, you've got to start somewhere. And I think to the way that these guys have looked at the way these guys have developed over a week and a half, um, not under my guidance, but the guidance of the support staff as well. Um, I think anything's achievable. Maybe, yeah. We, you know, we won't. We won't get over the top of them, but I'm sure we'll scare a lot of those, um, how, what we call those super nations. Um, sometimes someone's got to have a bad day, and if they're having a bad day while we're in town, well, um, I'm sure we're going to give them a run for their money, and I mean that um, yeah, we're all here to play games and we're not here to make up the numbers. So I'm very excited as to where we'll be in 10 years' time. Well, thank you very much. David Simpson is head coach of Vanuatu Rugby League. Samuela Luan Dravu, uh, you're the player and also you're the captain of Vanuatu Rugby League. And of course, uh, you are not a stranger to Vanuatu because you were born in Vanuatu. Tell us more about that. Yeah, um, born in 78, lived my first nine years here and uh, always been passionate about this uh, great island. Um, went away for 23 years and uh, I was glad to get the recall to represent my birth country. Mm, so uh, uh, a feature and play for Vanuatu because you were born in the country. So um, how would you feel that you have been chosen as the captain for Vanuatu Rugby League? Uh, to be honest, it's a great honour. Um, never thought I'd, I'd actually captain a, a nation, or, but to actually captain this team, um, you know, I'm just happy that uh, I've got the team behind me and um, we're looking forward to tomorrow. And mm. It's been a great honour.
So is it more to do with the uh, team player for tomorrow? For we know that uh, Niue is not only a small, uh, tiny island of only 2,000 uh, population, but you know they're good in uh, rugby, rugby too. So uh, you think that as a captain, you have the confidence of taking your players inward with this big body builder from uh, Niue to face them tomorrow match? Uh, we've got a lot of passion in this team, and I think it comes down to our motto: "Give me one." Um, no matter what, um, whatever teams throw at us, uh, we're going to do everything together. I think that's a motto that we stick to by, and um, uh, it's a hard ball to break sometimes when we got the, when we got that Yumi one happening. Because no matter what islands you come from in uh, Vanuatu, when you don done that Guernsey, um, you're representing Vanuatu and you're one family, no matter what. Wow. Good one, man. Samuela Luan Drabu as player and captain for Vanuatu Rugby League for tomorrow's match. We do have uh, Mr. Matt Francis as the Cocos Titans uh, team. What is your involvement in this um, uh, game in tomorrow? I want to come along and observe and see where we might be able to assist um, in the future, uh, particularly in providing pathways for young players to give them the opportunity to perhaps uh, one day play in the National Rugby League. Um, so to come out here and uh, to observe has been a great privilege for me. Uh, I've seen, I was involved with the uh, Australian Indigenous All-Star side mm -hmm. and I can see the similarities in terms of the passion and pride that these players have in representing their culture and their people. Um, and it was really uh, great yesterday, a group of the boys took me out to a fair uh, and we went out to see the kids at the school and they took me and visited the elders and uh, took me around the village community and it reminds me a lot of going out to Indigenous communities in Australia where they have that similar uh, passion for their people. Yeah. Uh, and uh, just so I can see some great things that could happen through here. You know, across the NRL, we have over 30% of our players come from uh, Polynesian, Melanesian uh, background. Uh, so that's the growth of our game. So we're very proud and very privileged to be here. And hopefully Gold Coast Titans can come on board as a partner to, to assist in uh, mentoring the players both on and off the field. Mm. So we know that uh, Coco Titan is one of the uh, extremely... Uh, a very uh, good team back in the Cocos yeah. and one of the uh, champion in Cocos. So tell us more about the, uh, your team. Uh, the, Gold Coast, Coast the Gold Coast Titans is the uh, youngest team in the National Rugby League. Uh, we came into the competition in 2008 um, and it's a, it's a growing team. Um, but uh, I think the hallmark of our side is that we have uh, a lot of players from different backgrounds and cultures and we embrace those players' backgrounds and we do a lot of work out in the community with our players not just promoting rugby league, but promoting healthy lifestyles, mm. uh, education, um, and a whole range of, of I suppose, social messages. It's because uh, rugby league, like uh, any sport, can bring a community together. Uh, so the Titans is all about winning, the same as the Vanuatu team is tomorrow. Yep. But at the same time, we're all part of uh, promoting uh, positive messages to youth. And that was why it was great to be able to figure yesterday with the boys, because you could see their passion for their, their, their home community. Mm. So uh, when you say that you are here just to observe, mm. uh, how, how you observe a play? I mean, it really, it, because you, you kind of observe and also a hunter. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, Can I say that? Yeah, but I'm more helping to look at the off-field stuff as much as the on-field. Uh, but I've already seen some of the young players whose athletic ability, uh, you know, the natural uh, eye-hand coordination, uh, the skill sets that they've got, uh, that could potentially see them uh, have a pathway in the NRL. Mm. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Matt Francis. But we do have uh, in Vanuatu uh, the sponsors that uh, through them we can have all these kind of regional or international uh, games. So we do have uh, one of the sponsors from Vanuatu, which is um, Cameron McLeod representing the uh, Cover Emporium. So tell us more. Um, it takes your time and uh, you know financially to to have a kind of game stage in home ground Vanuatu. Uh, yeah, look, I, I, a brief history with Cover Emporium's association with VRL. Um, about well, probably 18 months to two years ago, Dane uh, approached us. He's the head of the well, effective the head of the VRL, um, and looking for I guess financial assistance to get the whole concept that he had at the time up and running and we were obviously league, pretty uh, passionate league fans and um, he pitched us a, I guess, package, I guess, over a few beers with a couple of the other committee members and we were really stoked to come on board. Um, 
and we understand there's pretty large fiscal output you know required for something like this um, and the car reporting just sees it as an opportunity to of course back a sport that we like obviously back when I do um, yeah we're, we're wrapped to be involved in it. Mm. So uh, uh, we had uh, uh, one first game last year, mm -hmm. uh, that was with Greece, Vanuatu in Greece, and uh, this year we had it with the Solomon Islands, and now we're going to uh, face a uh, new way. So do you think that um, you as a sponsor of uh, uh, Vanuatu Rugby League in the country and other sponsors, do you think that this is going to be an annual event that uh, every year that uh, the sponsor thinking of uh, bringing a, an, in a, an amazing and interesting uh, match for Vanuatu in home ground in the country, uh, bringing other players from the Pacific or internationally? Sure, well, well from a commercial perspective, we we love it. I mean, the, an annual event, it looks like it's going to be that guys from here on in with varying teams right through the Pacific and, and other regions. Um, obviously, we look at it as a way to promote the brand, and that's, that's fantastic. I think last well, last year we had the big screen up there with the various ads of the sponsors running. Um, the numbers that were there, I think, were well in excess of three and a half or 4,000 people there at mm, Stan yes, yeah. uh, last year, and I'm sure they're expecting that again. Um, so, you know, it's a good promotional thing. Uh, yeah, if it means an outreach for Carver to other areas that, you know, possibly don't have it at the moment, then even better, particularly if it's on the back of Carver Emporium. Mm. Okay, uh, before we end, I'll talk to um, David Simpson as head coach. What will be your last word for uh, listeners and for everybody listening for tomorrow's match, Vanuatu against Niue? Um, <clears throat> I think uh, just to really embrace uh, rugby league and especially uh, Vanuatu, the VRL, and the players who are playing tomorrow, I think you'll come out and you'll see a, a tremendous physical uh, battle between the because of the nature of the two sides. I think you'll see a highly skilled game that'll be fast and will be end to end. There'll be um, plenty of big hits um, and hopefully a lot of uh, tries scored in our favour, not in uh, Nui's favour if we have anything to do with it. And um, I just think it'll be a great carnival atmosphere, you know, and celebrating um, uh, rugby league in this um, you know, tremendous community. I've been really amazed at the, the quality of people in Vanuatu from Santo to Villa. And uh, again, I think you'd um, do yourself a massive favour if you'll get along to the game tomorrow and really get behind uh, Vanuatu too. It's going to be a great day. Yeah, same. Uh, just just a local support, just to get Vanuatu Rugby League out there. And to the just to support the local boys, eh? It'll be good to see everyone out there and support the team. Uh, just probably from my perspective, I can see how much pride uh, these players have in representing their people, so it'd be great to see their people along supporting them. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Joining 96 Buzz FM, all the best for tomorrow's match. Thank you very much. Thank you.